Hey guys, this is Holder and Little Yard here, and today I'm going to do some of my standalone missions by jumping around this time to mission 22, still required. I actually was playing around with this mission a couple days ago, so I figured I'd get to this one. This is a, definitely a shorter one, 25 turns, and you have to destroy three ecospheres. And the notes say it says you have to have skilled use of stealth. Mostly just be able to use submarines really well. So we'll load these infiltrators in. So I've already done this mission a couple times already, so I'm gonna give you my strategy for how I do this. Um You wanna take these six submarines right here and kinda line them up sort of right here and here. A lot of these turrets definitely can make sure that any of your air forces or ground forces can't make it to their base. And in the 25 turns, you won't be able to destroy most of the defenses to be have anything really meaningful going on. So you're gonna have to rely heavily on the submarines. And the infiltrators can't do too much. They do have a lot of infantry around, so infiltrators can't just run around free like you know other times. So my plan is we use these infiltrators to two infiltrators on this side and two on this side to see how I can help the submarines. Although I kinda hate just play it for you. They don't do much. I mean in the grand scheme of things you really don't need them to do much, because most of it relies on your submarines. And the rest are really just there to protect your base. Is how I see it. So Go ahead and do this. See, they have infantry here. They can spot my infiltrators. So you want to keep them away from the infantry. But also, another note, they do have corvettes for the submarines and their own submarines. And they are trying to destroy your base. So you, mostly you need to also destroy their ego spheres, but stop them from destroying your base. And usually this can be done by like calling a little submarine wall. It's just line them up in a column or mostly in a column and have them kind of just block anything that comes through. And I'm going to sail this, not sail, but fly this around and put the other two of the traders over here to try to see if I can disable the radar and oh, what's right here. But it looks like I can't take that, so. We'll put these here. And, alright, so. I mean, almost the AWAC is like the second least useful thing here because you use it to spot the base and it has upgraded scan from 16 to 20 so it does do a very good job of that and then you have ground attack planes which you can use to fly around and help kill some things but overall you don't need to worry about that too much but as you can see here They've got heavy defenses all across the line, and you don't really have any land forces, so you could steal the some of their ground units with infiltrators, but the problem is you have to disable that steal, that's the general rule of thumb, and the only real decent one is the rocket launcher, which will die after one shot from all the turrets, unless you've disabled all of them and killed all these units here. So that would take too long, because you have 25 turns to do it. Plus this mine layer here, they've got one over here too. And these two missile crawlers make it a little bit hard. I mean you could air use your air transport here, put the personnel carrier in the water, hide it, put it like right here or here, put infiltrators and try to steal or disable them. 
but I'm going to show you a strategy where you really don't have to worry about that. And it mostly just involves strategic use of the submarine. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So the Corvette has spotted me, so I'm not stealthy anymore. Also, I have shot too, so let's take that out. Okay, I'm actually gonna stop you right there and take that out. And move up. So generally the plan with the submarines is that you want to kill what's ever in your way and slowly move up and just keep on moving until you get to the ecosphere. Be wary of submarines and their corvettes. You want to try to focus quickly on the corvettes usually to make sure they can't continually spot you. But you also have to understand they have submarines which can still fire on you and catch up to you pretty quickly if you are spotted. Overall, my best run I've had with this is you, I have had all six submarines still alive. And right as I say that, they have all of them lined up. Which is nice. Sometimes this AI can be a little bit smarter, other times they're, you know, not very good. And I have all their ships piled up, so that way when they come through they know they can't get through. If I were them, I would make sure I had all my Corvettes just right here. Like, that would pretty much end the mission. So they should have a third submarine, if I remember correctly. So there's usually three submarines you have to deal with. And they should have another Corvette. Here we go. Alright, so let's kill all the Corvettes and submarines. It's pretty much smooth sailing. Alright, just checking my, uh, where I can send my ground attack planes in. But I gotta move them out now because that's in range. And that's not in range anymore. Just in case you, I don't know if you remember, really, mobile and uh, escorts are mobile anti-aircraft but on water. Alright, cool. Alright, cool. But I'm gonna take that out. Let's actually move up and... Actually, hold on. I'm gonna make an aggressive push here. Toward... Okay, that has a shot. Alright, I'm not in range of that crap. So this is not going to go as well as I thought it would. Wait, hold on. Ah, crap. Not as well as I hoped. Okay. Actually, no way. I've got this. Hold on. So I can use this one to shoot that one. This one can move up and fire. And I should be able to move one space on a diagonal, not a two. All right. Let's see if this works. Yes. Nailed it. All right. So that should be the last of their corvettes and submarines. Not a guarantee. Usually they have two submarines and three corvettes they have to worry about, and you don't have to worry about the rest. Well, you do. You kind of sort of have to to make sure they're not getting to your base. Otherwise, you're fine.
in there all through ecospheres that I mentioned earlier. And once you kill all the corvettes and submarines, you can just walk right in. Turns. I'm just gonna get free points for disabling this, or free infiltrator score for disabling this stuff. And I, I think the extra plus is from where I've done an experience usually gives you a higher, slightly higher chance of disabling and stealing each time. And if you fail, then well, you die. But yeah. You know. hmm. Oh, they found that one too. There, I find some of my own mines. Start talking to these ecospheres. There, right there. Oh, it's blocked, so whatever. Alright, target that one, that one, that one, that one. And you really don't need your attack points too much in AOAC, just mostly for protecting your base and in AOAC for spotting. But mo this mission really is just. Use your submarines and play it careful. Take out the submarines and corvettes. Move up slowly. Make sure their navy just get to your base. See, so mostly this is really just focusing on your navy. And Yeah, because this ecosphere isn't connected, but I have destroyed the other ones that are not. So this is how many are in operation. It doesn't, it doesn't seem to count ones that aren't. So I could just keep going for a few turns and win this, but I'm just gonna blow them all up. As you can see, they have this really nice base along that part you saw earlier, all around here. But they really don't use most of it. Well, I think it's because the power station is disconnected from, well, that. You figured they have more connectors. Just, cause it looks like they have all this stuff right here, so they're going to do that, but. Remember, I did tell another, tell another kind of funny story. I have failed stealing a scout before. That's actually kind of it, but. You know. Yeah, I know. But. So once I destroy that, I have. Well, then. Someone decided to pop out of nowhere. Looks like I've invested here. Alright. Because I figured. I feel like just failing to miss a submarine. Alright, so there's three corvettes and three submarines. So everyone knows that. So you want to be careful, move up slowly, be mindful as you try to um, deal with them. Yeah, and overall that is a shot of Jesus. I mean, it's said it twice a couple times already, but... It's, it is really all about the submarines. The rest is mostly just... the fodder to distract the enemy. Try to get them not focus on your submarines. You know, everything like that.
So this skill use is skill use is stealth, because if they send one or two units at a time, that's when you want to try to go in and see if you can isolate them. But you don't want to overextend to where you can't fire back, because they'll get free hits on you and take you out. So you want to avoid that. So you want to move slowly with your submarines. Because by turn 8 or 9, you can finish this mission. And the rest of the turns, just you smacking the enter button. And hitting end turn. So you can just speed it up. Also, I don't know what's taking the AI so long. I think in a way they've noticed I'm disabling their stuff because they have infantry here. But they don't have sea transports, and they don't want to risk destroying a concrete block to let them through, because they have missile crawlers that could be stolen with infantry infiltrators, but they have infantry which can spot them anyway with the turrets. Yep, so if you hit plus six, you start becoming a crack at hacking or something. It's probably terminology I'm not fully aware of. But yeah, I'm actually going to set this turn to, like, three seconds, just to speed this up. Because at this point, it's just me messing around with it, because there's not much to do. Because I've already completed... That's the mission at this point, I just gotta wait for it. It's like the first mission I did, Fast and Furious, where once I took out the Ecospheres... I didn't have to worry about much else. So. Four turns and three turns. Uh. And you do have a dock to so you can send your submarines back to repair them. And refill them with ammo in case you need to come back. But you can do the mission with just the ammo count you have. I wonder if I just keep sending scouts over and I can just steal them all and just didn't blow up the radar. Alright, I'm probably gonna send the gunboat to start coming after me. Oh, if the gunboat got close enough, I actually could have tried to steal it. But they're going to try to use that to spot me, so I don't want to stand right there. Plus eight. I think the highest I've had is roughly a plus 15 on an infiltrator before. Yeah, game one to 10 turns. Yeah, I know. I'm just passing time by just telling random facts. <laughs> it's really what I'm doing here.
Oh, did I want to tell you about a funny bug I had happen to me earlier? Well, I found that I wasn't recording, even though I thought I was recording. So, with, so if you want to try to reproduce it, so you can see it for yourself, what you want to do is um, try to get your uh, ground attack, or and I do it with a ground attack plane. That's how I found it out. And you want to try to get to a point where it has to use some kind of movement to get into the like less than two movement, I think. And if you try to activate it, okay. So I got it to where. So if you want to move your, your aircraft into a hangar or any unit, you need at least one movement. But with hangars, you need at least one, like just to get in entirely, because it has to move in and ease up movement. So because I have zero speed, and it normally takes aircraft two movement or two speed to get out of the hangar, you should get something like this. This is kind of also funny because I saw a comment <laughs> earlier that said someone in China, uh, from I think it was uh, Congo I've seen post a video of my videos is that someone should try to fix the bugs. Like this one. Wait, I wonder if I can do it with the AWAC too. Well, we're pretty much done this mission. We might as well play around with it. Oh, I drained the movement too fast. Alright. Wait, I just did this for more than one turn? Yeah, oh wait, no, it's just one turn. But yeah, you can't do stuff like that. Oh no. I'm just losing the dock. It'll be fine. I need to refill the ammo on this submarine. But yeah, that is a bug. And it will move out if you also go to your unit screen if you have to. Select the unit and then move it out. But I just want to know if I can do it with the AWAC. So it takes at least one to get out. Yeah, <laughs> oh, this is great. I can't even select it. And if you go to the hangar, it's not in there. Oh, well, it couldn't disable the radar anymore. Rip that guy. So yeah, that is how you beat this mission, and how to make a fun bug, because <laughs> it's still uh, having issues. You can, if you move the camera around, you can see it kind of like flash into image there, I think. Because if you look, pay attention closely, you can see it kind of flash in the corner there. So at crack plus 9 to crack plus 10, you can finally disable radars and fix defenses for 2 turns. That is great to know. Although, it looks like that was just a radar. The missile launcher is still only one.
Oh, too far, 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 too far. So yeah, like another way to use, I can do this is with ground attack planes and try to disable all their anti-air. Or at least I would disable it once, so that way I can move in. But that would require me to really my commanders to grant attack airplanes and even sacrifice the air transport. All right, so Pulse Eleven is elite. Awesome. Time to do some cookie stuff here. Also, is this funny bug where if you put it in the land, it keeps the water image? Or the image of its sprite as if it's still underwater. But I'm gonna also show you that uh, if you want to disable the missile crawlers as part of your strategy, you stick it right in the water, move it up just one, and then go right in. And if you want to, you just move it right back. But they'll catch on. I actually want to do it for safety to move right back in here. I'm pretty sure the infantry are on to me because they're moving into position. Oh yeah, they'll, they'll, they know. They definitely know. So I actually got rid of these three A guns. I could move in, but I'd have to deal with like the six infantry that are still sitting there. So I guess there's a final, the final thoughts about this mission. I almost want to say it's about as on par as easy with one bullet. Oh, I think one bullet is a little easier. Because even Fast and Furious is a little bit harder because you had to make, put your assault guns in just the right place to where they just outrange the enemy assault guns. Because it's a little easier than trying to spot invisible submarines. Because this mission was just Corvettes and no submarines. Maybe a tiny, it'd still be a little bit harder, but you don't have to deal with you know trying to find something invisible. But this is one of the shorter missions by far, because 25 turns, but also because you can beat the actual mission and much shorter time than when you actually need to uh because you don't, like I, I did that in like I think by turn eight, turn nine. So like if the rating was have the highest rating by ten turns, you could still do it. Twenty five is kinda generous. <laughs> but um Otherwise, um, this has been, if, as always, if you guys have any feedback or comments or messages, please let me know. And this is, as always, this has been Holden, or I is a weird, and I will see you guys next time.